How to add humor to a graduation speech. Boring graduation speeches are an impending tragedy. If you've been tasked with giving one, you can learn to inject a little humor into the proceedings. Learn to pick appropriate jokes that will have your audience in stitches. Learn to nail the tone and deliver your speech to emphasize the humor, as well as the heart. Picking appropriate jokes. Use funny inspirational quotes to get you started. Starting with inspirational quotes is a common even corny, feature of the graduation speech. If you want to have a little humor in your speeches, using humorous quotes can be a great way to do it and add some levity. Will Rogers, even if you're on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. Ben Franklin, you will find the key to success under the alarm clock. Bill Watterson, what's it like in the real world? Well, the food is better, but beyond that, I don't recommend it. Ray Magliozzi, you will never have more energy or enthusiasm, hair, or brain cells than you have today. Make a funny reference, but take it seriously. One excellent way of putting a little humor in your speech is ironically referencing something that seems like it would be a silly reference for a graduation speech. Pop culture like songs, cartoons, and action movies could all be great references for a funny graduation speech, as long as you take it seriously and develop it. Pick a pearl from a favorite rap song, as the venerable Lil Wayne taught us, real G's move in silence, like lasagna, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. No, not the questionable Italian casseroles lovingly served by the lunch ladies at our school, but moving forward. In silence. Like the real G's that Jefferson High School has made us, reference some, low, culture, wandering these halls, we were like so many Mario brothers in the sewers of our lives. Getting lost and finding our way. Reaching for stars. Thinking we were sparkling and invincible. Trampling strange mushrooms. Smashing turtles with hammers. Doing battles with princess-stealing dragon creatures who live in fiery realms. Well, we did some of that. Tell a story specific to your school. Think of a funny story specific to your school, something that involves characters present at the graduation. This could be a good way to lead into your speech with some humor, as long as the story is appropriate for your audience. If you're giving a speech because you're an exceptional student or an administrator, it could get a good opportunity to self-deprecate. Tell a story about a time you failed spectacularly. Try to think of something everyone will be able to recognize. If your school has been under construction all year, make jokes about building the future one closed hallway at a time, avoid telling inside jokes unless you're going to explain them. If something is funny to you and your swim team friends, but nobody else knows what it means, it's not good for a graduation speech. Remember who your audience is. Poke fun at the traditional graduation speech. While it might be difficult to pull off well, poking fun at the usual cliches of the graduation speech can be a good way to find something more interesting to say. Think of the corniest speech you could possibly give, then use that as a spring to go in the opposite direction. Attack the hard work cliche, lots of people will tell you that success comes with hard work. And that the only way to climb that ladder of success is by keeping your hands out of your pockets. But it isn't true. Some people are just lucky. And that's what I want to talk about today. Pick on the I see the future innovators of the world cliche, I look out at you, my fellow graduates, and you know what I see. I see a future of loan debt. I see the students who will break their thumbs on the Xbox of life. The kids who will back up the emergency rooms of the world, on Halloween, when the partying was too intense. Who will have 14 grandmothers die during finals week? And who will take control of their lives? Start with a lame joke, then unpack it. Lots of good speeches, and some bad ones, use some conceit, story, or aphorism through the whole speech as a kind of metaphor. David Foster Wallace's This is Water is a classic speech of the genre, too. He starts with a simple joke about two fish swimming along in the ocean, and then talks at length about the cliches of graduation speeches, in which many speakers position themselves as the older fish swimming along telling the younger fish what water is. Pick a common joke that you like and tell it. Knock-knock jokes, chicken crossing the road jokes, talking dog jokes, jokes about moths visiting podiatrists. You can use any joke if you put the work into it. My dad used to love to tell a joke. It goes like this, a guy and a skeleton walk into a bar. The guy orders two beers and a mop. I think there are two kinds of people in this world. Skeletons, and the people who mop up after them when they drink too much. <laughs>